guess it's going to record the entire screen too. Oh, all right. Um, so on our daily agenda, we have had a chance to practice with a few different minerals, kind of explore uh, what a streak looks like, explore hardness. Um, we're going to get back in our mineral identification teams and we're going to identify the following minerals from the rock and minerals kit. Um, sample number four, sample number six, sample seven, 19, 35, 40, 43, 44, and 48. You are going to observe the document that looks like this. This document says rocks are made of minerals. Um, and it talks about a number of different characteristics that you may be looking for. Uh, the first one is luster. Luster is a way of describing the shininess of a mineral. And there are some adjectives that science scientists use to uh, describe specific uh, rocks and minerals, including dull, greasy, metallic, silky, glassy. The second portion is a hardness test. And remember the other day, we put this inside of our digital lab notebook. This document also includes the hardness of the glass plate and the streak plate itself. So there's a number of different uh, minerals that are found here and their overall hardness. Test number three we explored already. That's our, our streak test. So remember to do both streak plate, both the dark streak plate and the white streak plate because sometimes it's easy to see the difference um, or easy to see the streak color on a different background. Finally, density. Remember all the way back to eighth grade when we did a density lab and we had to uh, do some water displacement to determine density. Um, we had to figure out the volume of the substance and we also had to find out the mass. On the side counter, we have some graduated cylinders that you can use to determine the volume. I would highly recommend using water displacement to do so. I would not recommend trying to measure because most of them are irregular shaped objects. So you're going to determine the volume and then you are going to measure the mass using a scale. And you are going to put all of that information inside of uh, this document that you could just take and add to your digital lab notebook, this, um, this chart. M uh, mass is different than weight. Weight is a measure of the gravitational force on an object's mass. So we're looking at the mass of an object. We are massing our rock sample. And density equals mass over volume. We're just figuring out the mass in grams. So after you have done all of these things inside of this chart, I've got a number of other materials that may be helpful in your identification. There is a mineral identification chart. The mineral identification chart has a number of um, samples um, and what their color is, their streak is, their luster, their hardness, and their density. These are the only samples that I will have you look at. So these are the only things that you're matching up. If you if you're determining that the, your rock sample is something other than what you see here, then you have not identified it correctly. So we're simply looking at these samples right here. Okay. There are some other tools that I also supplied uh, in our Google Classroom and on our website here on our agenda. There's a streak identification link that you can observe. It's got some kind of cool information regarding what you might observe with a streak. 
There is a Mohs hardness scale. So you can use this as a resource to look at hardness. There is a luster link that explains the different forms of luster. And then I've put an entire mineral database on there that may be helpful as well. Once you have identified each of your samples, you're going to go into the rock sample identification assignment and you're going to identify what each sample number is as far as a specific uh, rock type or mineral type. And I will get that pushed out on your Google Classroom here momentarily. What questions do you have?